What's up fellow Earthlings? Welcome back to the channel Austin Hustler Hires where everyone is welcome, even the haters. And in today's video we're going to go ahead and show you how to install a wireless reverse camera on your truck or your car. Today we're going to be installing it on my GMC Sierra. This way I can see uh, easily how I'm backing up to the trailer, get the ball perfectly under the trailer every time. We got this backup camera from a junk removal. I don't know if it works, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and test this out. But the tools you're gonna need with this uh, is to, a Torx bit to take off my reverse light. And then you need a drill to put the Torx bit in. We have our reverse camera and we have our monitor. We have these splicers in here that basically uh, are connectors so you can connect the wires together without actually cutting the wires. I'll show you how that works very soon. We've got a flathead screwdriver to take off the license plate and we have our instructions just in case we need them but you know we're men and we don't usually use the instructions anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and start this install guys. The first thing we're gonna do is take the monitor and plug it into our uh, dashboard and see if we can get power to it. All right, so the camera seems to be turning on, um, but obviously it's not gonna give me picture until we put the camera there. So now that I know we have power here, we can continue on with the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the monitor in here for now. Let's go to the back of the truck and get the camera hooked up. All right, the first step is to take out these two screws here. That's holding on my um, reverse light, or rather my brake lights, my reverse lights, my running lights, all that. We're going to take this whole housing out, and then we're going to expose the reverse light wire. And that is what we're going to use to get power to the reverse camera. So you want to use your reverse light because once you put your uh, truck or car into reverse, that's what's going to power your light, which is also going to power your camera. So it's not powered on all the time, only when you put it in reverse. So let's go ahead and get these two screws out real quick. All right, so we got our Torx bit, which is, it looks like a star. If you guys can see that, is the camera focusing on that? Yeah, All right, so we've got, uh, we got our star bit. This is a T15 uh, Torx bit. We're going to put it in our drill, take these screws out. Super simple. Okay, now we should be able to just pop this out. Just be very careful because there are plastic tabs holding the other side on and you don't want to break those. Just kind of, there it is. All right, so these plastic uh, pieces go in the holes here and you don't want to kind of, you don't want to bend it when you're taking it out. Just kind of twist it and give it a slight pull. Uh, we're gonna locate our reverse light and expose that wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down over here. Okay, so the reverse light is right here in the center. So we know that this is my reverse light here. We're gonna expose this wire by taking off this electrical tape. So this wire here is actually going from the reverse light to this light. We don't wanna use this wire. We only wanna use the two that are going into the reverse. So that's what we're gonna do. I think that'll be enough uh, there to go ahead and do what we need to do. All right, so we have our reverse camera. It has two wires here. We've got a red and a black wire. We're gonna do black on black and we're gonna do red on green to get our camera the power we need. And we're gonna use these, these clips right here. I'll show you how to use those in a second. I actually forgot to tell you guys about a tool that we need, so let me go grab that real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so the tool I forgot to tell you about is a good old regular pair of pliers, guys. And you'll see why we need those in a second. So the way you're gonna do this is we're gonna hook the, gonna hook this, slide this in here, the black wire, just like so. And then we're going to also slide this black wire in the hole as well. What you want to do is close that little clip there, fold it in half. 
You want to make sure the, the wire end is not exposed. And then you're just going to go ahead and squeeze it down. And that's what's going to connect your wire. See how, give it a little tug and you know that it is in there. All right. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the red wire and the green wire. We're going to put the red wire in here, or the green wire in here first. Like that. Then we're going to go ahead and put the red wire in there. Close this clip like that. Make sure the red wire is not exposed. So, all right, and then we're going to go ahead and squeeze that down as well. And what that does is it puts a slice through the wire and it connects the two wires together inside of there. And that way you don't have to actually chop the wire, twist them together and, and electric, put some electric tape. These are the best connectors to use for this. Um, and I actually did this wrong. I did this wrong. All right, so I moved a little too quickly doing this, guys. You're supposed to run the wire up through this hole before you actually connect it. And I've done the exact opposite. So what we're going to do now is see if this um, fits through the hole. If not, I'm going to have to fix my mistake by taking those off and redoing it. Let's hope that we can get this in the hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, but if you have a car or another truck, I strongly recommend you run this wire um, up or under your truck and up through one of these holes so that you can actually put your light back on. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take our license plate off. And that's why we had the flathead screwdriver. And that's what it, my, my license plate requires, but your license plate might require, um, you know, a Phillips head or even a, a socket. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I have a big enough gap here um, to put the camera through. Once again, I lucked out. And like I said, guys, this is probably something you want to, you want to make sure you run the wire out this hole up into your reverse light before you connect it. So I made that mistake. Don't make the same mistake. So before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and test this guys. This should be everything you need to connect the um, wireless camera. And this is probably the easiest one to connect. So you don't have to run wires from the camera all the way up front to the monitor. So now all we have to do is turn the truck on and, um, and then put the truck in reverse with the monitor on up front. And we should get some picture back here as long as we did everything correctly. And if that works, we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything up, put it together. One thing many people don't know, guys, when you're starting your vehicle up, you wanna turn the key in the on position. It'll actually tell you this in your owner's manual. You wanna turn it on position until all the check lights run through and then you can go ahead and start your truck up or your car. So everything ran as checks, started it up. We're gonna go ahead and turn the monitor on and we're gonna um, hopefully get a picture here when we, when we put it in reverse. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna hold it. Let's see, it has some lines on it so I'm pretty skeptical about this working. And we got picture. Oh, we had picture. All right, we have picture, guys. The camera, or the the, uh, the camera's upside down, though, so we need to flip the camera over, and you'll be able to see the ball. It's not a very clear picture. This is actually a very crappy set, um, but it's working. So as you can see, I put it in reverse, and the camera came on. Can you see that? Okay, cool. So. Now I put it in park and the camera shuts off. All right, and that's how it should work with a wireless camera system. We're gonna go ahead and flip the camera over on the back and, um, and then uh, we're gonna tighten everything up. All right, I'm just gonna let the wire hang down the middle of the license plate there so that way you know they can see the license plate numbers. 
but this is the direction the camera has to face and the wire is coming out the bottom here which is a poor design um, and obviously it is not that high quality of a camera like I said we got this for free from a junk removal and uh, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how easy it is to install a wireless camera into your truck so that way you can see your hitch uh, backing up to the trailer um, every single time you know you can get it directly under the trailer hitch every single time with a wireless camera like this and all you have to do is hook up a few wires it took us what about 15 minutes to do that and bada bing bada boom let's go up front and see if the picture has improved and then we'll put everything back together and tighten it up all right so it's still not that great of picture see the further back i move it the actual the better of a picture you get um, but this will work. I can still see my ball and I can still see where the trailer is at. So I'm going to use this camera until it completely breaks and then I'll probably buy a new, uh, better camera and actually spend some money on it. But I just wanted to make this video, like I said, to show you guys how to install a camera. You can go out and buy a better one than this, install it the same exact way, get a good connection and, and a good picture. So that's it guys, it's super simple. We're gonna go ahead and tighten everything up. I might have to get my magnet out here. It literally looks like that. Where'd you go, screw? Oh, I kneeled down in chicken poop. Don't do that either. There's chicken poop right there. Dang chickens. All right, we got a big, strong, powerful magnet here. And so I'm just gonna run it over where I think I dropped it. Oh, picked up a piece of metal. Got it. Yeah, keep magnets around guys because when you lose stuff on the ground, you can find it. All right. So we've got our two uh, Torx bit screws. Um, I'm gonna basically these two holes right here We're gonna take and st stick these plastic pieces back in and you're gonna push it in and you'll feel feel it pop in and then uh, the, the light will line up guys Then you just take your screws And you pop them in just like that One Two now your lights back in place uh, the last thing you want to do is take these zip ties. Usually it'll come with some zip ties, guys. And you're going to zip tie the actual camera wire up underneath your truck so it's not hanging down. doesn't get ripped off while you're traveling down the road or through the landfill or something like that. I'm not going to bore you with the process of zip tying your wire up. Just make sure you do get down there and zip tie it up to make sure it is safe. And um, that's it. That's it. That's how you install a wireless camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps some of you out because I know that, uh, you know, for my truck backing up to a trailer, I've been doing it for several years and, and every day, you know, you still have some sort of difficulty getting it directly under the ball. So a backup camera will help out and you can install it in under 15 minutes if you don't screw up like I did. And hopefully you can learn from my mistakes on this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that notifications bell to follow me to get more informational videos like this. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.